Hey everybody, this is Kyle, aka Moronic Cow, from this xboxlive.com, and this is uh, part three of my uh, video reviews. Uh, it's Borderlands this week, or, well, right now, and uh, basically I'll be showing you as much as I can about the game, and uh, kind of giving you an idea what, what you're looking for. Uh, in this game. First we're going to start off as my main class which I chose which was the soldier and uh, basically what what this guy is, is he's just you know run-of-the-mill uh, gunner um, he's got a turret which I'll be throwing down here in a second and uh, the one one cool thing about Borderlands is that there's a number of different enemies and right here you see I'm I'm level I should be level 50 but for some reason it didn't save so I'm level 49 and it's it's really easy um, especially on the first playthrough if you're going back and unfortunately I haven't gotten very far in my second playthrough um, to be able to kill enemies and uh, you know do a lot of damage I mean it really seems like it's a pretty easy game but believe me when you're when you're fighting around you'll uh, you'll have you'll have your moments of, uh, of basically just getting mopped the floor with and having to respawn every uh, every uh, you know five seconds it seems like but uh, there's there's a host of, of different things in in borderlands here you're getting a look at right now how many uh, areas you can travel to and, and the list is you know even greater than what you saw right there and uh there you know there's different ways to buy weapons and and get certain things there's a uh, vending machine scattered throughout the game like you're seeing right now uh different different weapons go on sale every 24 minutes that you're in the game uh so you can get uh different weapons upgrade your weapons uh with the ammo uh enemies always drop better weapons for you so you're constantly picking up and changing around and, ooh what's this weapon ooh what's that weapon um, right here's a fast travel you can fast travel anywhere that you've already discovered um, and I'm actually going to show you the uh, DLC as well um, f you know here in a little bit but we're going to go to Old Haven it gives me it gives a little bit more challenge um, and unfortunately due to the ever uh, so uh, constricting time restraints uh, can't show you know the whole game and uh, I don't, you know unfortunately this is going to be pretty much a breeze but when when you get to this point you're probably about level 28 30 and uh, you face an enemy that you've never faced before and uh, it, it, they're they're tough but, you know it seems like I'm lighting them up but which I am but uh, they are they are quite tough so definitely uh, this game is not a cakewalk at all and and especially even if you're level 50 and you go through playthrough 2 uh, it will still give you a little get a little bit of problems here and there um, right now you're seeing a, a pretty rare rep weapon uh, it's an iridian sniper rifle um, which uh, does does a good amount of damage and there's a little what I like to call a bubble gun um, does a good amount of damage as well and uh, they both of those guns are alien weapons, and they're they're pretty hard to find in the game. Uh, so you're pretty lucky if you if you come across one. But uh, right here is uh, all the quests that you can do. And if you're looking for a game that's going to tide you over for a while, Borderlands is that game. Uh, I've got all the quests completed on playthrough one, and you see, I mean, it's taken a good 30 seconds to scroll through all of the quests, and uh, then. It, if you uh, if those quests aren't enough, well, you've got all those challenges you can do, and uh, there's plenty of, of stuff to do in Borderlands. Uh, that's one of the great great things about this game. Not only can can you uh, jump in by yourself and and complete it, uh, but you can also have you know up to up to three other people in the game with you, helping you out, having fun, uh, as well as bringing their character and all their stats into the game with you. So. That is that is the uh, the nice thing about Borderlands is is that if you're stuck on a part, you can get your level 50 friend to help you out. Uh, but if you're a level 20 and you jump into a level 50 game, you might level up pretty quick, but uh, you're you're gonna get uh, your fair share of whooping uh, because if even if uh, people are you know let's say three levels behind you, they're still gonna 
going to wipe the floor with you. So uh, be sure if, if you got a friend, have him come to your game uh, if he's a higher level. Uh, right here is the DLC. Um, it's a pretty good... Uh, it's a pretty good uh, addition to uh, to the game, and uh, and basically, I can see here there's a little uh, opening to it. Um, it. It's it's a uh, it's a it's a cool um, you know different uh, perspective on on uh, on Borderlands. It seems like everybody's doing the doing the uh, the proverbial zombie mode with Left 4 Dead 2, of course, and, you know, World at War. But, you know, I thought this mode was, uh, was, was fairly cool. I mean, um, it's a, obviously a different enemy. There's, there's more than just zombies. There's, you know, crazy berserkers. And, um, I mean, overall, I thought this was a, a pretty neat addition. Was it worth $10? Uh, to buy it, probably not. Um, it still was fun. The uh, the whole DLC took about two to three hours to complete, uh, but there was one quest uh, that you had to collect these brains by headshotting zombies, and uh, that's the one that took the majority of the time to complete, just because you had to collect uh, a, in a total of I think like a, almost 500 brains, um, but the first quest is 10, collect 10, and uh, it only it only reads that you up to 10. So if you pick up like 300 brains before activating that quest, you obviously uh, would only get credit for the 10 and have to start from zero once you turn that quest in. So it's a, uh, I mean, it, uh, of course it's a uh, a very a very well done game. Uh, I really love the fact that. Uh, you're able to jump in somebody else's game, keep your stats, unlike Fable 2, where uh, you would have to jump in as a stock character. Uh, I do wish there was a little bit more customization on on the actual characters. Um, the the characters that sh that you have right right now are are, are you know good, but um, I, I I really would like to have seen maybe a little bit more you know personalization in your character. Um, other than assigning the skill points, uh, I just think that uh, it would have been a little nicer, you know, to be able to change some feature features around and not just colors. Um, so that would have been cool, but that's not, you know, uh, by any means a, a huge knock against the game. Um, you know, there, there's four different classes. You've got the berserker. Uh, you've seen the soldier. Uh, you're seeing the uh, hunter right now. And uh, you also have the siren. I think out of all, all the, uh, all of the classes, I, I'm I, li I like the soldier the best. Obviously, got a little 50 with him. I think he's the he's the better of the four. Um, I've seen a couple people play with the siren. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of people play with the berserker. I I find the berserker kind of annoying. Uh, you'll you'll see why here. Um, just I don't know. It's it, it's a good concept. It's just slightly annoying for me. Um, I, you got the siren as well. Uh, again, I mean, not doesn't seem all that powerful. I'm sure when you upgrade her, uh, she'll she'll get up there. But I really prefer the the running gun uh, turret uh, as well with the soldier. Um, overall, I would have to say that this game's uh, probably. Uh, I would say uh, it, it's the best uh, IP of the year so far. I haven't played Saboteur, which I'm interested in playing, um, but I, I think it's definitely the uh, the the best IP of the year so far. Um, I, I'd give it uh, a, a B plus. Um, the game does drag a little bit sometime, and it would be nice to be able to fast travel somehow without actually having to go to a terminal. Um, for the DLC, I'm going to go ahead and have to say that's going to be a C plus, uh, just because I was expecting a little bit more, and uh, having them saying that it was 68 hours, don't believe that at all. Um, price point definitely factors into that. Ten dollars, uh, so close to you know only two weeks after the game had been released, um, not you know to me not really worth it. Uh, as you can see, I'm I'm showing off my achievements right there. 
I got the 1,150 out of 1,000, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.